take that, get some of that sauce. Look at that, the perfect bite. Chef Jason at home, right here in Santa Cruz, and I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect steak today with a red bell pepper and tamarind chimichurri. And of course, a good steak always hits the occasion for birthday, for Valentine's, carnival, you name it. Let's get to it. So I have a nice strip loin here, and this is a nice cut. This is basically about two inches. In this way, you prevent it from overcooking. I'm rubbing it with some salt, and don't be afraid to put that salt. It's a nice thick steak, so you wanna make sure you get it on all sides. And then we wanna put some black pepper inside there. When you start to rub the sides of it, the abrasive action of all those great spices sort of perfume the steak and rub into it. You get a nice abrasive exterior. Another spice that I love is paprika. Mop that up all over your cutting board to ensure you get that perfect bark developing. And then we get our fire on. Touch of vegetable oil inside there. And as mentioned, of course, we're gonna be making this bell pepper and tamarind chimichurri. Pretty much start by putting my chives inside there. Piece of garlic, and of course, this is gonna add flavor to my steak. All right, so while that's going on, let's start to build our sauce. Some pickled bell peppers inside here. Parsley, tamarind chutney, apple cider vinegar. We're gonna take some of our seared up chives, our garlic, some onions inside there. Let me take this plate now. And we just put this here. I'm gonna use some of this for my garnish. We're gonna raise our heat now. Add a little more oil inside there. And we're gonna to start to deal with our steak. Steak goes in. And you wanna get that nice sizzling sound going. That's the indication that a good bark is developing a nice crust, a beautiful exterior. And that is really important. A steak of this size would take maybe like about two minutes on each side and then we're gonna allow it to rest. A little bit of pecans inside there. And these are gonna to be toasting up and we're gonna use them for our garnish also. So let's get the nuts out. All these are pieces for our garnish later on. So you gotta consider that when obviously making the perfect steak, you want it to look beautiful. Let's finish up with our sauce. Cut this in half. We're gonna add a little bit of juice inside here. Let's check on our steak. How oh, beautiful. Look at that sear, ladies and gents. That's exactly what you want. It's been about two minutes. We're gonna do the next side. We are searing at this point in time. And then we're gonna flip it in a little while. I'll show it to you in a little while. Let's get back to our sauce. Olive oil inside there. Salt and some black pepper. See how beautiful that color is? Tamarind definitely brings in that little bit of brownish color inside there. I mean, yes, chimichurris are tend to be green, but I mean, we gotta mix it up sometimes and be creative. Look at that. Now, one piece of advice that I can give you is when cooking steaks, I just don't like to leave it on one side to cook continuously for two, three, four minutes. I like to flip it every two minutes to allow the heat to distribute evenly throughout the meat on both sides. And that way, you could get control of browning on all sides and the degree of cooking doneness as it goes through or penetrates throughout the meat, especially when you're doing thicker cuts like the strip loin. Just a little bit of butter inside there. And by adding the butter, I just take a little bit of rosemary, some parsley, I put it together with a little piece of twine, and I baste my steak like that. And this is obviously gonna perfume and impregnate flavor into my steak as it cooks. Continue doing that, and then we're gonna flip it again for another two minutes. All right, so this is done with. You gotta rest your steak, because a lot of action is taking place inside of the steak, a lot of the moisture content is jumping all over. So you gotta let it rest, allow it to redistribute those juices. All right, so let's take some of that sauce. A beautiful tamarind, red bell pepper, chimichurri. That's exactly what you're looking for at this point in time. Those beautiful little red blush marks. We're gonna take our pieces, place them down like that, all over. Take our chives, a little bit of our purple onions. You gotta make it look beautiful. I mean, I mean, beautiful date night food. And we wanna take some of those pecans. Any steak needs some fresh chives on top. And this is obviously at medium temperature. When you get that nice little blush color, that is important because you don't want to overcook your steak. It's gonna get like rubber. You're gonna get that nice moisture inside there. Beef obviously is a red meat, so people think it's blood when they're seeing actually, no, it's just the pigment of the meat. And take that, get some of that sauce. 
maybe one of those pecans on top there. Look at that, the perfect bite. Let's go. Mmm. The tamarind, chimichurri with those red peppers. It's sweet, tart. Nice finish with the acidity from the lime juice inside there. So good when it's taken weeks it up. Puts it on that a new level of flavor that is just screaming at you. Mashed sweet potatoes, a little bit of butter inside there. Wait one more on that, happy days, it's good to go. Perfect steak dinner, lunch at any point in time. You're good to go. Chef Jason brought it to you. Live on deck right here in Santa Cruz. Good food, obviously. And of course, if you ever you want to feature any of your brands or products on our show, reach out to us at www.chefjasonperu.com or email us at perujason at yahoo.com. We'll be happy to work with you and obviously give you the best exposure that you could ever wish for. So I'll see you on the next one. Chef Jason at home.